as a general rule of thumb, unfortunately, the more weight you put on, My name is Dr. Ben Ng and I work in Mount Elizabeth Novena. My clinic is called Arden Endocrinology Specialist Clinic. No, certainly not. I think skinny people can. The risk is lower, but as we talked about before, it's important to understand that there's a relationship between insulin and your body's ability to respond to insulin. As a general rule of thumb, Unfortunately, the more weight you put on, the harder your body is to respond to the insulin. But it's entirely possible that on the flip side, you have no insulin at all, but your body is very ready to respond. So you still can develop diabetes that way. High blood sugars can potentially be catastrophic and very, very dangerous. Remember, during uh, circumstances where sugars are high, essentially your blood very thick and it can clot you can get what we call hyperglycemic crises and in certain cases where your insulin levels are that suppressed you can get what we call ketosis and those things are potentially life-threatening so at the end of the day be very very careful if you have diabetes make sure you take your medication look out for all the signs we talked about increased thirst blurring of vision and so forth but in acute stages where the sugars shoot up very quickly vomiting nausea drowsiness all these are very very serious signs where you need to seek medical attention immediately when you talk about diabetes in pregnancy, there are actually two different types. There is diabetes in pregnancy itself and gestational diabetes. Now the difference between the two of them, diabetes in pregnancy is a diabetic lady who becomes pregnant. Gestational diabetes is a condition where you develop diabetes because of pregnancy. So those are two quite different simply because if you have gestational diabetes, in other words, you develop during pregnancy, once you deliver, your sugars go back to normal. You still have a risk of developing diabetes in the future, but most ladies, your sugars become normal after that. Whilst in diabetes in pregnancy, clearly your sugars were high before, they're going to be high after. And the way you manage both of them is completely different. Your sugar control needs to be much tighter in pregnancy. So people, ladies with diabetes in pregnancy immediately need treatment and they need to monitor your sugars very, very carefully. Ladies with gestational diabetes, they are very good, robust uh, protocols to check. Ladies in Singapore for uh, gestational diabetes, most ladies now undergo two glucose tests to check for gestational diabetes over the course of their pregnancy. Risk factors include, again, obesity, family history, previous gestational diabetes, and so forth. These things increase the risk of, um, of gestational diabetes, and these are the ladies that need to probably need to be tested earlier. Pregnancy is a very physiologically stressful time for the lady. Um, they get bigger, there are a lot of hormones flying around, and more importantly, the body needs to use a lot of insulin. Insulin is a hormone we know to lower blood sugars, but insulin is also a builder hormone. So a lot of the times, the lady uses a lot of insulin to build their child, and the problem is that they leave less and less insulin for themselves, and because of that, their sugars tend to climb. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.